When Adolphus Kimry called 911 on November 27th of 2017, he reported that the three-year-old daughter of his partner was inexplicably missing. He told the emergency operator that Mariah Woods was no longer in her bed and that she had apparently vanished in the middle of the night. He claimed that she must have left the house and he and her mother were terrified and had no idea where the youngster could be. But despite answering the emergency responders' questions with believability and authenticity, it turns out that Kimry knew exactly what had happened to the little girl. When Kimry was reporting the missing Mariah to the authorities, he did so with a sense of panic and concern that you would have expected from a frantic parent. However, this was just a part of the deception that Kimry inflicted on the entire community. Over the coming days and weeks, more information came out that revealed exactly what had happened to this innocent little three-year-old and what Kimry had done. After a community-wide search, Mariah Woods' body was found less than a week later in the creek along Shaw Highway in Pender County. As the morning local community came to terms with the devastating news, it was revealed that Kimley had been arrested for murder. It was a shocking blow to the entire area that had come together as one to help and assist in any way possible as the situation unfolded. There was a vigil at a local church for the missing girl, and many of the local residents persevered and assisted with the search for sweet little Mariah. Mariah's mother, Christy Woods, appeared in the media several times as the search continued, desperate for answers and appeals for information. Meanwhile, the girl's father, Alex Woods, had admitted to the local news channel that things weren't looking good and that he had a bad feeling. It turns out he was right. When the body of Mariah was found, shockwaves rippled through the community, and the heartbroken parents were counseled by professionals as well as questioned by law enforcement. Once the autopsy on the girl had been completed, we began to get a full picture of exactly what had happened, and the results were shocking. According to the autopsy report, poor Mariah was killed by toxic poisoning from <laughs> after suffering a series of traumatic injuries to her face. But horrifyingly, that wasn't all. The three olds' neck had been tightly wrapped up with three plastic carrier bags. This inevitably would have strangled the helpless girl, but seemingly not content with that, in order to completely make sure she was dead, the sadistic killer covered her body with a couch cushion and then weighted it down with cement. Truly horrific. Shortly after the body was found, Kimry was arrested and charged with first-degree murder and felony child abuse. This for the man who had audaciously called in the incident and the disappearance of his stepdaughter. All whilst knowing exactly what had happened and what he had done. He seemed to believe that by flagging the missing child as an issue and acting the way he did, he would throw law enforcement and caseworkers off the scent. But he was wrong. He was ultimately found out and arrested before being held without bond. As the investigation continued with Kimry in custody, the charges continued to rack up for the brazen killer. Added to his first-degree murder and felony child abuse charges, he was also charged with obstruction of justice as a result of his attempt to mislead the investigation with his original 911 call. But it didn't stop there. He was charged with concealing a death, second-degree burglary, felony larceny, and possession of stolen property. At this point, his bond was set at $1 million. Despite the abundance of serious and devastating charges, coupled with the mounting evidence against him from the prosecuting team, Kimry was adamant that he wasn't going down without a fight. Despite the odds stacked against him, he pleaded not guilty to all charges. Despite being questioned on a number of occasions by the investigation, Maria's mother was never charged with any involvement in the case, and she cooperated fully throughout. There was no resolution to the case, and the investigation rumbled on. A new trial date was set for November 8, 2021, but the defense was keen to delay until later in 2022. They were concerned that many of their witnesses to call upon would not be available so close to the holidays. When the case was first launched in 2018, the state district attorney, Ernie Lee, was steadfast in his intention that they were pressing for the death penalty. And that continued to be the case right up to trial. The North Carolina Sheriff Hans Miller made a statement outlining the feelings that were held behind the thinking of the case. I was on County 911. What's the address of the emergency? Yes, ma'am. I'm at 2405 Dustin Gavin Road, Lot 7. Could you, could you repeat the address for verification, sir? 
Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Mm-hmm. Hey. Hey, you said your name is? Oh, it's Kimry. Kimry? Yes, yeah, K-I-M-R-E-Y. And last name? K-I-M-R-E-Y. Okay, first name? Adolphus, A-D-O-L-P-H-U-S. Okay. Now, just try to find a recent photo of her, sir. Make any list of friends or addresses, phone numbers that you feel that like she may go to or anyone that she knows in the area that she's familiar with. Okay? Okay. All right. Just try to locate her and have someone stay at home just in case she does return. If she is located, sir, give us a call back immediately, okay? Okay. We'll get her off the dispatch as soon as possible, okay? Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. The death of a child is always a sobering reminder of how fragile life is. When the community is so deeply affected by such a horrific crime, it is sometimes difficult not to allow our emotions to influence the decisions that we make. Like so many other things in the world, the COVID pandemic caused numerous delays to the trial, and it suffered a number of postponements and reschedulings. Ultimately, the defense ended up getting their wish with the trial taking place in 2022 as they had campaigned for. After a number of cancellations, it eventually made it to the courtroom on December 12, 2022. Despite his original plea of not guilty when he was first convicted, Kimry had a different plea this time round. A plea deal was struck between Kimry's representatives and the state prosecutors. Kimry eventually pleaded guilty to first-degree murder and felony child abuse in exchange for the death penalty being taken off the table by the state prosecution. The courtroom heard further details from witnesses and Kimry himself to explain his callous actions. Witness testimony heard that two former cellmates of Kimry said that he had told them that he'd used the to make her go to sleep because she was bothering him while he was trying to get high. On this account, Kimry's defense attorney, Wally Paramore, turned to the family and apologized to them. The lawyer would go on to tell the judge that his client was completely consumed and inundated with drugs. When Kimry took the stand, he was apologetic and remorseful to the judge. He said, I am deeply sorry for the grief that I have caused. I take responsibility for Mariah's death. Again, I am so very sorry. Following a 70-minute hearing, in which the court heard from the tearful and heartbroken mother of Mariah, Christy Woods, the judge sentenced Adolphus Earl Kimry to life in prison without the possibility for parole. The direct motive for the slaying of the young Mariah seems murky and unclear, but that in itself could reflect the fact that Kimry was under heavy influence of drugs and not of clear mind. But from the poisoning to the facial impacts, the bags around the neck and the stuffed body inside the cushion with weighted cement before being dumped in the creek. It all paints a horrible and harrowing picture. But then, when you factor in the audacity to call in the incident and to try and deceive the police, it just further shows what a truly horrendous crime this was and a beautiful young life so unnecessarily lost. Over five and a half years after Mariah Wood's brutal and heartbreaking murder, and the memorial in the local community still stands strong as a reminder of the completely wasted life of a beautiful young girl with a future to dream of, thrown away by the devastating actions of her heartless stepfather Adolphus Kimry.